Okay, gang, welcome to Hands-On Equations, Lesson 5. And to start with Lesson 5, we are going to look at this particular problem, 5x minus 3x plus 2 equals x plus 5. This right here, this minus 3x, that's the new piece of our puzzle. So it's really simple, gang. Now we're going to take 5x's, and I'm going to put all five of these x's on my board. Why? Because I'm supposed to. That's what it tells me to do, 5x. Now I want to take away three of those x's, so I pull three of them off the board. I add my 2, I add an x to the other side, and I add a 5. Once we get the setup correct, now all it is is a matter of isolating our variable. Let's get all our variables, or all our blue pawns, on one side of our pan, uh, of our balance, and my all my cubes on the other side of my balance. I do that by taking away one pawn from my right, and what I do to my right, I must do to my left. Now it's still in balance, and I can't take any more pawns away, but I can subtract two. Two minus two is zero. Five minus two is three. So that leaves me with an answer of one x equals three. Now let's go ahead and check our answers. So I have a three here, a three here, and a three here. Five times three is fifteen. 3 times 3 is 9, so it's 15 minus 9. 15 minus 9 is 6, and 6 plus 2, because i got to add my 2, is 8. And over here on my right side, I have 5 plus 3 equals 8, so I have 8, check 8. Let's try one more example for lesson 5. Okay, well, that's the same one. How about if I turn the page? That might work. So now I have 2x plus x minus x plus 1 equals x plus 9. It's very simple. 2x's, put them up there. Plus an x, put it up there. Minus an x, take it off and add 1. And on the other side, I have an x and a 9. Now let's go ahead and isolate our variable. We've just simplified the equation, now we're going to isolate. We want to isolate by getting pawns on one side, that's the blue ones, and cubes on the other. Take away one pawn here, one pawn here. Subtract one from my left side, subtract one from my right side, so 9 minus 1 is 8. So that leaves me with an answer of x equals 8. And now let's go ahead and check our answers. 2 times 8 is 16. 16 plus 8 is 24. 24 minus 8 is 16. And 16 plus 1 is 17. And over here on my right side, I have 8 plus 9. 8 plus 9 is 17. I say 17 checks 17. Well done. 